if you don't create a story, right, you, you, it's harder to engage because you can sell them fine food, you can give them a nice drink, you can show them a nice movie, you can give them a museum to walk around with no engagement. But they want engagement. They want to see you. Now, another slight story. Um, my brother-in-law, he's Australian. Um, he was over here a couple of years ago. And about half a mile from my house is a real old graveyard, which there's no burials anymore. It's that old, you know. And he went up there one day and he took photographs of gravestones. And he did a bit of research on a few of them. He found one in particular. It was... Um, uh, and he happened to be a U.S. captain in the Second World War uh, that left Ireland, immigrated from Ireland, obviously, in 18-somethings, and he became an American citizen, joined the army, became a captain, went to war, went to France, got killed in France, got taken back to America, his home. The American government paid to send him, his body, back to Ireland and paid for the headstone. Now, that's just a short part of the story. But the bigger part of that is my brother-in-law, who's a historical writer, wrote a story about that. It's only about two or three pages. Like, it's called History Out There. And he wrote a story on it. It's been picked up by um, local tour guides and so who are driving through our region. And it has now become part of their tour. Now, when I say the tour, these are private drivers who might carry eight or ten people in, a, in, a, in a, one of these mini coaches. But it's already been picked up. Now, it's, it's, it's something that I've, I've seen all my life, never really took any notice of it as such. And all of a sudden now there's a, another little uh, mark on a map that people come and see. So that goes back to, you have to look at what's your story.